Yeah, so, so far our season's been going pretty well. Uh, uh, very different than normal season. Um, we've got some challenges, but uh, we're, we're making the most of them. Uh, probably the hardest thing is orchestrating uh, practice times and schedules and, and things like that to, and to still be socially distant in the water and uh, doing our, uh, our best to, to provide a, a good experience for everybody. I think, you know, without any competition this year, or, or certainly without any NESCAC championships uh, uh, this year, maybe we can squeeze in a dual meet somewhere, but without any NESCAC championships, we're uh, kind of shifting our focus uh, towards, you know, where maybe we would typically be 30% technique work and 70% training. We're probably now more flip-flop the other way. Uh, where we're really trying to focus on our, our, uh, our technical aspects of the races and, and uh, yeah, those are things that will hopefully stick for next year and uh, uh, be beneficial you know, in the long term for We're trying to play the long game uh, with this. And the, you know, the big goals this year are one, to stay tight and stay a really close team. Uh, we've done that well in the past and it's you know, certainly something we want to keep going. Do some things this year that will make us better for next year. Um, things are going well. Um, Athletic-wise, we are getting into the pool um, and you know working on our technique, which has been very interesting. Um, team bonding has been really fun, and um, academically, it's going well. I think we have been trying to really connect with the incoming freshmen. Um, we've been doing a lot of team activities around campus. Um, trying to get them engaged in the con culture and our team especially. But I think motivation-wise it's been pretty challenging considering class schedules and personal conflicts, but I think we're pushing through it pretty well. <laughs> I think some team goals, especially right now, is just staying in shape and continuing working on our technique and building off of what we can. So. Because of the pandemic, we have to wear masks at all times, except when, when we're not in the pool. So when we arrive at practice, we're wearing masks when we're changing and everything. Um, and we just got to be really careful not to. We're swimming on opposite sides of the pool. We don't normally do that. So there's two people per lane, which is um, usually, I mean, we have probably five per lane, but we're not allowed to stay on the walls with each other because we're, there's a risk there. So uh, that's been pretty much the difference, but we're still able to train reasonably hard, and I'm happy with what we're able to do. Uh, I would say just team morale is difficult given the circumstances. I mean, a lot of people are experiencing difficulties that don't relate to swimming or academics. Um, and it's just a difficult time right now, obviously, for everyone, but um, we're always together as a team, and I think that helps. So we're, we're getting through it, but uh, yeah, that's been a challenge, certainly. We, we likely won't have any competition, unfortunately, but um, we'll be able to pr prepare well, I think, for next year, and we'll, um, we'll have a great season next year. And I mean, we, we've, we have a lot of time now to work on stuff, so we're fortunate that we're um, able to swim now.